bass is one of the most important parts in rock music. It is foundational and crucial for powerful songs, groove, and at times a very well-deserved solo. In this mini mic, I'm going to briefly discuss some of the most influential and underrated bassists in rock music. I'm going to start with my favorite bassist of all time, Tina Weymouth. Weymouth is known for her roles in Talking Heads and Tom Tom Club, and she has proved to be an integral part for both bands. Their songs have a lot of really great instrumental parts, but their most famous songs are best recognized by the bass parts. Weymouth has been referenced by Haim as one of their greatest influences for their bass parts. And Weymouth's bass parts have been sampled by contemporary artists from Jay-Z to Selena Gomez as well. Next I'm going to talk about Kim Gordon, who's known for her strong punk bass lines in Sonic Youth. <laughs> Along with being a bassist, Gordon was also a co-writer, vocalist, and guitarist for the band. Gordon is credited as one of the great contributors to grunge as a genre, adding dissonance to the vocabulary of indie rock music. Beyond her contributions to the music, Gordon tackled some really heavy topics of the music industry, such as abuse and misogyny, weaving these topics into her abstract lyrics. Filmmaker Sofia Coppola has referenced Gordon as one of her great influences, as well as punk musician Kathleen Hanna. Next, I'm gonna talk about Kim Deal of the Pixies. So in 1986, when the Pixies were just starting up, they were looking for a bassist and through, through some ads, and Kim Deal was the only person to respond. And she wasn't even a bassist, she had played guitar, and this background really allowed her to experiment with her music style. She'd try out a 62 Fender Precision reissue or the new Music Man Stingray as her bass for the parts. And this allowed her to develop a really individual driven style. Some of my favorites are Here Comes Your Man or Debaser. I think she's a great example for how you don't need to be a shredder or well versed in music theory. I love music theory, but I think there's ample evidence that it's not crucial for writing influential music, and Kim Deal is a great example of that. Finally, I'm gonna talk about Gail Ann Dorsey, who's known for her concision, groove, and funk. She's a great example of where music theory shines. This is Gail Ann Dorsey. Dorsey has a very long musical history working with many artists from David Bowie to Tears for Fears. Down again. So those are my schemes. And she's still very highly requested in the music industry. Her style is spreading through many different genres. These bassists are all very different from each other. Their styles are hard to compare at times, but they each have one thing in common. They've pushed the music industry into a much higher standard, demanding respect through their complex and catchy bass lines. I really hope you've enjoyed this mini mic moment, and even if grunge or rock isn't really your thing, I recommend checking out these bassists as their styles transcend genre.